Hey guys, Blamager here, and we're back with another episode of Let's Play Metroid Other M. In the last episode, we found a Furby. In this episode, we're going to continue our exploration of Sector 1. And what was that? Ah, that's what that was. Yeah, get used to that guy. You're going to be seeing a lot of them. Can't do anything about them right now, though. But we will very soon. As if that much hasn't been made readily apparent. Over here, we can get a power-up in the bathroom. Or, as Nintendo Capri Sun would say, in the bathroom. That's my best impression of him. <laughs> I know, it just didn't feel right to go into the bathroom without saying that. I think there's something up, isn't there? Yeah. But I don't think I can do anything about it right now. So we got a wall jumping area here. Very simple stuff. Just don't get hit by the bad guys. Alright, this is actually where I died the very first time. And that's how I died. Very entertaining. Now, the way you're actually supposed to do that. I still would recommend taking out all these guys just because they're annoying. Oops. Did not mean to fall. Alright. So the way you're actually supposed to do it is shoot the first one. And watch that guy appear. And then don't panic. Just jump over here. And there you go. And for those wondering, I did do that on purpose the first time. Just so you guys could be as surprised as I was when it happened to me. I know what's in there. That's a uh, power-up, but I can't get it yet. Down the hole I go. What is this, Sparkman stage? Just let me through. Quit dropping blocks. Oh, drop an enemy instead. Over here, you need the grapple beam, which for some reason I'm not allowed to use it. Let's 
Why well, we have a missile tank here? Yeah, I'm really out of practice on this game. <laughs> I don't know why I'm even fighting these guys. I don't need to. Ha <laughs> ha! Scare tactics. So yeah, if you get caught by one of those Venus flytrap guys, just go into morph ball mode and lay a bomb. And we've got more area to travel through. I'm not sure what's up here, so... Something I can't do yet, apparently. I think it's time for a boss. A revisited boss. He's not really even a boss anymore, he's just... He's just a normal enemy now. So, uh, one thing that's, that's really good to be aware of is that you can still do your sense move dodging when you're uh, when you're in the first person view by shaking the Wiimote oh man couldn't dodge that yeah I'm doing horribly here this is almost too embarrassing to post. <sighs> okay, I said yes. Now continue. Thank you. Alrighty. We'll try this again. Open the door. Where are they? Do I have to actually walk into the room before they appear? There they are. Actually, a really easy way to take care of them is to just make them visible and then do that. Bam! That's why I've been doing so badly. I'm forgetting to use my lethal strikes. Another thing that makes this more of an entry-level Metroid is how forgiving they are when you do game over. Now this right here is actually really hard. Because you can't really go into your first-person view to shoot missiles. Not really effectively anyway. Because these guys are constantly moving.
But, you know, just keep shooting at them when they're open. And eventually you'll get them. You do have to fight three of them total, I do believe. Oh man. I was about to shoot and he shot me first. It's like freaking Greedo and Han here. And there we go. And we actually get a power up here. The diffusion beam. Which just makes your charge shot scatter. And we get a perfect place to use it. Uh, if I was actually using it. There we go. However, the endless stream of these things kind of makes it difficult to ever really target to destroy them. Just gotta find your opening and strike. I guess we activated uh, that save room way back where. So we'll head back that way now. Oh, another boss. Remember this guy? He tried to scare the poop out of us earlier. Pretty easy to take them out if you use your missiles and lethal strikes correctly. I said when you use your lethal strikes correctly. And there we go. Now we can get back up through there. Where is it going to take us? place a bomb to activate it and it's like being a pinball and we got this guy again <gasps> but I'm just gonna ignore him uh, I think the save point I need to go to is over here so we'll roll over here Rolling around at the speed of sound. Well, maybe not the speed of sound, but rolling around pretty fast. Alright, now that door is open. I'm going to recharged right here and we will go through that door in the next episode of let's play Metroid Other M I am Blind Major and I will see you guys later